Rambo. Yeah, I'm about to join you. <laughs> well, let's you know, pull them off, Daddy. You got a four one? No, I can do a four. Should work. Welcome to another episode of Honda Street Garage. Today we are finally putting on rear disc EK1. We've got this thing jacked up over here. We've got this BMW bottle cap. Ooh, look at that! She come right off. We speed demon. Now what we're gonna do is swap the entire trailing arms from this car over to this car. You can see we've already got it on jack stands and taken the rear wheels off. I have already pulled the 40-40 proportion valve off that car, which I'll show you later. And you possibly will probably be swapping out the brake booster and master uh, master cylinder. Is it cylinder master so brake master right. cylinder? Uh, yeah, and all that stuff. Just because it's bigger and it's made for the four wheel disc. Um, so here's four, 40 40 propulsion proportionate. I can't even say that. Here is the 40 40 proportioning valve. But we're going to be worrying about that once we get uh, the trailing arms and everything swapped over and we go to start bleeding the system. Okay, we're going to get started be back at you in a flash. Okay, so we've got the suspension. Pull that bolt out. And the bolts here on the uh, trailing arm. Making quick work. My man over here is struggling with hand tools. And we're gonna pull this 14 millimeter bolt out as well for the uh, camber kit. So what you're gonna do in here is uh, loosen this and then pop these out because we're gonna have to replace the e-brake cables uh, and then take the bracket off that holds them so that when we get underneath the car, these will slide out. Steven, the expert, is helping me. I've done this before, but it's been like 10 years. Oh, God damn. That boy. You good? Bring her up. Brake lines. Is there something still attached? Brake lines. Brake lines. Hey, where's those uh, snippers that you... Oh, uh, well, you brake cables as well for this one, I guess. Well. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you something that's impossible. Uh, you have to remove the e-brake cables. On an EG, there are two brackets that you have to unbolt on each e-brake cable. They're impossible to get to, um, so curse as many times as you want, pray to your god. Uh, and then pull them out from the uh, cabin. So that just took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to get those off. Uh, next, we have to drop the 17 millimeters, but what we need is a, a 10 millimeter line wrench so we can disconnect the brake lines themselves. Once we do that, it should just bolt right over. These are already dropped, ready to go. We just need to disconnect the uh, brake, lines. brake lines. So we'll be back doing that. Oh, professional action right here. So where are we at? We have disconnected the brake lines uh, on both cars. We've disconnected both e-brake cables on both cars. The only thing that's left is the tow arms. And then, uh, hey, I can't have that kind of language over here. IG. All we gotta do is disconnect the tow arms and then we're gonna swap these out. Somebody. Oh, you're, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Wipe that off. What? Wipe that off. Oh God, why are you fucking my shit up, man? Wipe that off. Oh my God. Wipe it off. Turn it off. Wipe 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 it Graham. Huh? Pick this trailer arm up. Come on, Gam Gam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We marry in the blood and the crypts. You know what I'm saying? Because I got the red seat. What? Oh. 
Oh, we'll watch out. <laughs> Got the red in the interior. Oh, that's it. Oh my god, you strong man. What's hanging? I'm trying to get Hold the hang out of the compass anymore. We don't have any light. I got the bolt out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on. I was just saying, pull it down a little bit. Let it fall down a little bit. Let, let the arm fall down. It's all the way down. Or like angle it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Watch him. Watch him. Oh. Watch Here we go. Mouth. He's got it. So we're gonna put this on the car, you're gonna see yeah, it. Right? Okay, I guess it does that. We gotta put it on the car to make it roll. I mean, you ain't gonna put all the bolts in it, but you know. Yeah. Ski oh, Master Slump God. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know how Ski Master Slump God do. Oh, God. <laughs> That's his name. You gotta polish up. So gotta polish up these board, these, these bars. Aside from the toe arm. Oh, damn, he got them both out. Aside from the toe arm. Nothing. 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 And he's ready to accept the disc of rear. Yes, we are ready to put the disc of rear inside. Now, I mean, we could probably took this bolt on out unnecessarily. The strut bolts. Clop clop. I did. Well, don't worry, Mark. I will put the bolt back in. <laughs> Good news is, is we have new trailing arm bushings. New trailing arm bushings. Hopefully, we can get the old ones out. And on a flathead, we'll be good. Rock and roll. Okay, so we're just putting the uh, bolts back in the uh, rear suspension because I'm stupid. I took it out and I didn't need to. Okay, so I've got this uh, rear disc trailing arm out. I just uh, hit this with a hammer to get it out, popped right out, like three hits. Now we gotta put the brand new one in, which is gonna be a little more difficult. The, the longer side goes on the inside, so it should go in like this. It just sounds more ballsy than an LSB tape. That's the easiest optimizer I've ever seen that come out. Good news, that's how you do it. So we ran into uh, so we ran into a problem. We can't get the uh, uh, new bushings in. We need to press for that. Uh, so we've got these, you know, energy suspension ones that we could use, but we've got to get the bushings all separated and burn out the uh, rubber on inside the thing. I just used a torch. Uh, she looks scary because every time we, whoa, everybody was kung fu fighting. Oh god. Makes me feel warm and comfy having a fire. Jesus. This is, don't try this at home, kids. Jesus Christ. This is dumb. Don't do this. I'm gonna get out of hand real quick. We got no fucking wheels, Ted. We got no fucking wheels or brakes or nothing. Scat, scat, poop, 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 poop. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. Uh, don't do this yourself. <laughs> uh, I should have known. Uh, these rotors are fresh. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I got these bushings. You, you can't just hammer them in. I'm, I was dumb for saying that. So tomorrow I'm going to have to get these bushings pressed in and then uh, come back to you on this one. I don't know. Uh, is this an epic fail? Epic fail. It's Steven's fault, he should have known. All right, well. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I'm so sad right now. Anyway, so this is where I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> uh, Steven agrees uh, that we should call it a night.
Yeah, so I gotta get these pressed in, and then hopefully we can get that done tomorrow and put this bullshit back on the car. And then after we do that, we get to put new rotors and pads that I haven't ordered yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get those snazzy cross-drilled and slotted ones that do nothing, but they just look cool. And then we gotta bleed the brakes. So it's gonna be a whole lot of fun coming up. This was supposed to be like a one day boom boom thing. And we're like, let's put new bushings in. I don't know what we were thinking. So, peace out. Uh, remember to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you in the next video. Pop pop boom boom. Scrap boom boom. Fucking play the song.